It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all, ladies and gentlemen. I know most of you have traveled quite long distances. Uh, it has been uh, a pleasure working with the United Nations from 2016, the Joint Inspection Unit. Petro will join us shortly. Uh, and uh, the result of this conference came from our last engagement with the United Nations Joint Inspection Unit 2018 in this project and a conference in Geneva, which was the role of the public-private partnership in the implementation of the 2030 Agenda, which then is built over in our relationship with the United Nations Environment Program in Nairobi. WAST is a global forum bringing people from all over the world to discuss issues related to sustainable development. We have been uh, engaged in these issues from, two, from 1999, and our approach is slightly uh, unique because we have been trying to bring people from different disciplines to tackle the issues of sustainable development. Just looking at the room or from the list of people, there are engineers here, there are ICT people, there are people from public health, there are people who are lawyers, and this only have been here in the, at the World Association for Sustainable Development because this is what we believe. To tackle the issues of sustainable development, you need to have a multidimensional sectorial issues. You cannot just solve it if you are just dealing with political science or economics and social science. Uh, it has been a very uh, long journey to be here. This is our 17th international conference and also our sixth international diaspora conference. And this diaspora conference also started in relationship with the United Nations UNESCO. And it has been a very successful uh, initiative where we bring people who are happen to be from uh, other countries, living in other countries, which we call them, uh, Petro, if you join us here, yes. And uh, hopefully you, uh, during these three days, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the interaction and the networking with others. And I always say conferences are about networking. The proceeding, you have it already, and it will be online. You can download it anytime. The program is also in your, uh, on your mobile. We can send it to you if you haven't yet given us your mobile phone, but it's also available online. But just two things quickly before I introduce the Secretary General. In 2008, we have looked in, into the issue of the role of science and technology and innovation in achieving sustainable development, and that was in Brighton at the University of Sussex. And if you look from 2008, and we are in the 2019, we are coming back to discuss something almost the same. The role of science, technology, and innovation in achieving sustainable development goals. So there's two issues here. Either we haven't done enough in the past 11 years, worldwide, emphasizing the role of science, technology, innovation, and research as a tool and mechanism to achieve sustainable development goals, or there is a re-emphasis of the role of science and technology. So I think the whole world now recognizes the importance of science technology in achieving the sustainable development goals. There are 17 sustainable development goals, but I'm sure one thing you all agree, we cannot tackle them individually, we have to tackle, to tackle them holistically. And that's what we are trying to do. So without further ado, I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Kim, the Secretary General of the uh, International Maritime Organization. And before that, I would like to thank you very much for your time and also thank IMO. IMO hosted one of our regional uh, roundtables on uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, this was in March, and they are kindly now hosting us here. And we are very grateful to all your team. We have felt like home. We have been really uh, privileged to have your support here. So it's all about you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Professor Alan Ahmed, uh, President of the uh, WASD, and uh, Excellencies, uh, the distinguished participants, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, first of all, you are most welcome to this uh, premises, to IMO, and I'm very glad to uh, welcome you at the 17th uh, WASD Annual International Conference addressing how science, innovation, and research can support implementation of the SDGs. Four years after adoption of the 2030 Agenda, SDG actions are still growing. Emerging technology and innovation can help us achieve the established objective. As a part of the UN family, <clears throat> IMO's vision and mission are clearly aligned with the global efforts to achieve the ambition set by 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals. 
Development and its 17 goals. SDG 14, which deal with ocean, is very much relevant to the, what we are doing IMO. Indeed, most of the elements of the 2030 Agenda will only be realized with a safe and sustainable maritime transport to support world trade and facilitate the global economy. Enhancing engagement with business and increasing coordination of innovation partnerships and a bigger role for the UN agencies in providing advice, those will contribute to meet the objectives and ambition of the SDCs. In this context, Connection, I fully welcome the recommendation of the JI report on the private sector partnership arrangement in the context of the 2030 Agenda. There is also a need to continue the identification of innovative solutions that could have positive impact on society, the global economy, and the environment in line with recent innovative solutions for environment changes and the sustainable consumption and production. The report of the executive director of a UN EP, UNE now. I trust that though these two reports will be of a great assistance to your deliberations today. IMO has a long standing relationship of collaboration with the UN EP and UNE. For example, IMO acts as one of the co leads on sea-based source of marine litter in the UNE-led Global Partnership on Marine Litter. Another strong area of cooperation is GESAMP, the joint group of experts on the scientific aspect of marine environmental protection, which celebrates its 50th anniversary this year. IMO works in a close collaboration with, UN, with the UNE through its regional sea programs to promote and support IMO's pollution prevention, preparedness, and response. IMO is a strong support of a science policy interface and the maritime education through establishment of World Maritime University, which was established by IMO 1983, based in Sweden, and the IMO International Maritime Law Institute in Malta. Both institutions are centers of excellence for maritime education, research, and training of specialists in the maritime sector. They have established their effective capacity building role globally, particularly by focusing on the training and education of students from the many developing countries. In, nine, in 2018, the World Maritime University established the WMU Sasakawa Global Ocean Institute, which uh, with a focus on implementation of Goal 14 of the SDCs. So having said that, uh, the ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me conclude by thanking the organizer uh, for the opportunity to speak at this uh, important uh, conference and uh, commending them for their foresight in selecting such an important and timely topic. We need to come together and ensure that next decade will be one for action to deliver the objectives of SDCs. Uh, personally, uh, myself, I'm, I'm originally from uh, Republic of Korea. But when the first time I uh, contacted the, the concept of sustainability officially was that the uh, uh, outcome of the conference which held, was held in Rio de, de Janeiro 1992 on sustainable development. It was a very comprehensive the conference which was uh, containing huge uh, amount of information. So uh, at that time, uh, I was a <clears throat> junior management, managerial level, so I was in charge of the environment issues. So I read through that information. That was 992. Very impressive, very impressive. Since then, different kind of development, uh, which I have been seen, observed, but uh, with the uh, SDC developed uh, by, adopted by uh, UN 2015, all activities has become more visible, more active, compared to the previous years. But in the course of that, uh, I really appreciate the work of WASD 
for development, uh, sustainable development. So uh, I'm very glad to see uh, your activities and also uh, our work of IMO is uh, very relevant to the sustainability of the all uh, maritime transport sectors, uh, safety and environment, environment and efficiency and all security issues as well. So I hope this opportunity can contribute to uh, enhancing more collaboration between IMO and uh, UNE through the, uh, your work of the WASD. You are most welcome. The president mentioned uh, you feel uh, home, feel home, but I don't know, uh, like a cafeteria will treat you as a home free of charge. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, I hope you enjoy your time uh, at this premises and wish you a very success and a fruitful outcome of this conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So please remember, if we all help and do a little bit, it will make a big difference.